Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood that Photoshop is one of the standard raster image editing software. Any image that we capture from our mobile or a camera or any other image capturing digital device will be basically a raster image or normally a raster image. I also told you that there are two kinds of images. They are raster images and vector images. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss raster images versus vector images. We need to understand the difference between raster image and vector image. So let's get started. Raster images are made of pixels, whereas vector images are made of mathematical formulas. They are made of mathematical vectors, geometrical shapes, lines, curves, etc. Some mathematical formulas are going to run behind for creating vector images. There are two softwares I am going to discuss here at present. One is Adobe Photoshop another one is Adobe Illustrator. We know that Adobe Photoshop is a raster image editing software and Adobe Illustrator is a vector image editing software. Photoshop is a raster image editing software and Illustrator is a vector image editing software. You can see here in Photoshop I have created one document and one circle. Similarly in Illustrator also I have created a new document in that I have created a circle. As I told, raster images are made of pixels. You can see pixels when you zoom in to an image. So I'm going to zoom it. I'm using the zoom tool. I just click on it. So I'm zooming in, you can see. When I start zooming, you can see a tiny, tiny boxes, right? Those are called as pixels, picture element. Pixels are meant to hold colors, so you can see pixels. Raster images are made of pixels. If I zoom into a circle here in Adobe Illustrator, I click, you can see I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in. You don't see any pixels. Can you see any pixels? No, because when I zoom into an image, automatically the image size will get changed. According to the mathematical formula, you don't find any pixels here. So vector images are made of mathematical formulas. There is a mathematical formula running behind. Okay, next point is to talk about is they are resolution dependent. That means if you change the resolution of an image, the images are going to get pixelated. With respect to vector images, they are not resolution dependent. If you change the resolution of an image, the images are not going to get pixelated. We have seen here when I zoomed into an image in a Photoshop, we are seeing these pixels. The image is getting pixelated. Whereas here, when I zoomed in to 4800 percent still I am not finding any pixels so vector images don't get pixelate friends that's a difference between raster images and vector images raster images are highly realistic images like movie posters banner ads matte paintings etc vector images are less realistic images like logos clip arts cartoons etc hope you guys have understood what is the difference between raster image and vector image here I have listed some raster image editing softwares like like MS Paint, Coral Painter, GIMP, Adobe Photoshop, etc. are raster image editing softwares. Similarly, I have listed here vector image editing softwares like uh, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Flash, Corel Draw, etc. are vector image editing softwares. And I have listed here some raster image file formats like .bmp, .jpg, .png, .gif, .tif, .tga, etc. are raster image file formats. Similarly, .ai, .cdr, .swf, .pdf, .svg, etc. are vector image file formats. So in this video tutorial, we understood that raster images are made of pixels. They are resolution dependent. Raster images get pixelate when we change the resolution. Vector images are made of mathematical shapes, lines, curves, etc. They are not resolution dependent. Vector images don't get pixelate. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, I am going to discuss file formats in detail. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.